everybody, I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I was explaining in another video that I was over out in the area where I used to work today, um, over at Cool Springs, which is in Franklin, and across the street in Brentwood, they have the Dollar Tree there that I used to like going to, and I've been on the quest to find the freaking puzzle glue, and I was hoping that maybe I would find that there because they have so much stuff at that store, but of course they don't. But anyway, um, going back, I, if, several days ago, I went to, okay, so I thought that there were two Dollar Trees still in the area that I haven't been to in years, and turns out they closed one of them, which is like a bummer, but whatever, um, it wasn't really in a place that I liked going anyway. So, um, I went to the, the other one that was still open. And it, it's one of those, just a generic Dollar Tree. It just has all the Dollar Tree items. They don't get a whole lot of brand stuff. Like, a lot of name brand stuff. So, that's why I never really go to that one. Um, so I figured they'd have Puzzle Glue at that one. Because the Puzzle Glue that I'm looking for is just like a Dollar Tree brand. And, um. Well, actually, it's the same. Okay, so those stencils that we're all getting, that brand that has like, there's, it says, um, it has a little thing on the package about YouTube. So I went and watched a YouTube video and learned about the puzzle glue. Anyway, so it's that brand that Dollar Tree carries that has puzzle glue in. That's just a long, random story. But anyway, so when I was at that other, that little Dollar Tree, um, I didn't really find much, of course. <laughs> Go figure. But I did find some things, and I found, like, I found one of these at the Dollar Tree I do like to go to. Um, I didn't get it at that time, and I had regretted not getting it, but, um, found it. Found several other colors. So, basically, all that rounds up to me getting these. Which they are the Diamond Wrap. Um, have it in blue. Yeah, pink pink, or I guess this is more of a fuchsia color, and then the silver, and they, they look like they're rhinestones, but really they're just fauceted plastic pieces molded onto like this ribbony thing, whatever, but I got those, so I'm quite content that I found those, that made the trip, you know, worthwhile, even though it wasn't that long of a trip, but anyway, so today, Dollar Tree, I went to one that I used to go to after work at the mall, um, Let's just say that I found so much stuff there, but again, like in my previous haul video about the, the collective haul, like with Bath and Body Works, I was really good. I, I even put back several items, but of course I picked up other items afterwards, but anyway, I could have done so much worse. I could have, I could have easily bought twice as much, but again, I was really good. They had a lot of like, um... I was going to say they had a lot of different makeup, but a lot of it was like the profusion. They had some more of those eyeshadow palettes, which I was so tempted to get one that had like a lot of the pinks and purples and really pretty pastel-y colors. But I was like, you know, do I really need it? I mean, I, well, I didn't really need any of the stuff I bought today, but it's one of those things where I wasn't really in the mood. I mean, if I was, I don't know. Anyway, there's... I even put back some makeup and some brushes and stuff. I was like, no, no, mm. if I, you know, I know where they are now. They have an abundant supply of them. Um, they'll probably show up at my Dollar Tree or any of these Dollar Trees nearby me soon. So, that was really good. I'll start with the food items. I found these lemon, English lemon tea cookies, which if they're anything like the orange ones, I'm hoping that they're not because I didn't really like the orange ones. I got those like a year ago and just did not like them at the time. But I'm hoping that these are somewhat like lemon cake, you know, like a basic lemon cake. If they are, then great. If not, then they were just a dollar. And then I got Nathan's Famous Beer Battered Onion Rings that are, they're just like a baked snack. Um, I think they're just pretty much a little fancier than Funyuns. Like, I think they're basically Funyuns with a little more flavor to them. So, they looked kind of tasty. Uh, I got another one of these scarves that has, like, a, the hippie scarf, basically. That has the smiley faces, flowers, hearts, stars, peace signs. And, like, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, my plan is to sew this, um, 
lengthwise to the other one lengthwise and make it wider. So I'll have like one big wide scarf because they're more versatile that way. I know a lot of people have been sewing them like um, widthwise or end to end so that you can make like a long infinity scarf, but I want mine like to be wide. So I, I got another one for that purpose. And then I bought another perfume from there. Um, I'm going to do like a whole video of like my collection, even the stuff that they probably don't sell anymore and reviews on the collection, you know, just because I have so many of these. And um, this one is the Blossom Blast by European American Designs and it is their version of Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. So this smells great. I... Okay, <laughs> that was really weird. But I sprayed some on my leg about two hours ago and I can still smell it on my leg. Like, there's not a lot of, um, oh, I can't think of the word, uh, spillage, sillage, sillage. Uh, but, like, when you smell it on the skin, you can still smell it. But anyway, I'll do a whole video about that, but this is great. And then, I have seen people haul these in the past, like, for a couple of years now and I've never come across them at any of my Dollar Trees. So I uh, came across one today and I thought I'd get it just because. Um, but it is, it says our impression of Tory Burch and it's called Too Much. It has a little roll on uh, perfume and a little mini lotion. So figured I'd try that out. And then I went down the sticker aisle. Well, I found where all the stickers were, which is, of course, mixed in with everything else. But anyway, so, um, I think it was in my last haul that I showed that I bought these alphabet stickers that have A through S, but not T through Z. Well, today, after much hunting, I found T through Z plus some numbers and some symbols down here, which... I kind of like that they kind of look like they have faces, like that one kind of looks, yeah, anyway, I'm seeing faces with symbols and whatnot. So, I was happy to find those because, I mean, you need the complete alphabet, right? Yes. Uh, and then, and then I got these Princess Sophia stickers. Now, I got these. And this Princess Sophia uh, glow wand, which I think it's just basically um, a glow stick with the Princess Sophia decoration, or Sophia the first decoration. But the lady who took me to the mall and shop, you know, did shopping with her, um, she has a granddaughter who absolutely loves Sophia. So I, I just kind of want to get these to pass along to her so that she can come to her granddaughter because I thought that would be nice. Uh, so she was extremely kind and generous to me yesterday. Uh, and then, well, I found, I don't know what it is, I keep just finding, and I dropped it. Yay. Real life right here. But, um, I found this chevron, this rainbow chevron washi tape, and I... I'm glad I found it. I wish I could have found more, but it was just hanging up by itself, and I looked all around and couldn't find any more in the store, so I, I got this little puppy. It was mine now. Um, I had to have it. And then I found some more of these labels, like I showed in another haul, except for these have flowers, and there's four pages of them, and they're, it's just the same print every page, but they have the little flowers to the side of each label. So, I know I'll find a use for them some way, somehow. And then, I got these two packs. They had all different colors of these, but they're the stick-on acrylic rhinestones. And I, my reasoning for not getting more was that I have so many of the other rhinestones that I got from Dollar Tree in the past that I can just glue them onto whatever, you know, I don't, I mean, I have all kinds of adhesive and glue, so I don't really need them to be pre, but these are colors that I don't really have rhinestones of, so this is kind of like a lighter pink. They had a darker pink too, which I, I initially I'd picked it up, but I was like, you know, I've got a lot of rhinestones in this color. I don't need any more that, you know, I just make use of what I already have. And then I got this um, kind of golden color. 
So you don't really see rhinestones in this color that much, so I thought that that would be good because I have a lot of papers that are more of that, that kind of have that, um, that Tim Holtz, the antique olden, vintage, whatever, kind of color scheme to them, so that would be good for those. And then my last items are just DVDs. I picked up The Brother Solomon with Will Arnett and Will Forte. <laughs> this just looked like it'd be funny. I mean, I just... I, I can't wait to watch this one. And then, these other two are Nora Roberts movies, which I'm not, I don't really read her novels, but I thought that she was a romance author. And I love romance movies. But, um, after reading the back descriptions of these, uh, it just, I'm, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm in for, because they don't really, the descriptions aren't really matching up what I had in mind when I think of Nora Roberts, or maybe I just don't know Nora Roberts, like, I, whatever. Anyway, I got Carolina Moon, which, this one has Oliver Hudson in it, who is Goldie Hawn's oldest son, or eldest child, but, uh, and he's also on the TV show Nashville, which, <sighs> more goldy connections, but anywho, so I was like, hey, at least it has all of her heads in it, I mean, and then I got Tribute, which has Brittany Murphy and Jason Lewis, and this one looks a little more not as questionable, <laughs> let's put it that way, so I'll probably, I guess I'll probably like this one, I mean, might enjoy this one more, but this one does have the handsome Oliver Hudson. By the way, did I mention that it has Oliver Hudson in it? I mean, just, you know, Oliver Hudson. Alright, so, I got those movies. And hopefully, after reading the description, hopefully, they'll be more enjoyable than what the descriptions present them to be. So, that is all for this haul, and I will be filming one more haul, and I've previously filmed another haul. So, um, if you enjoy watching hauls, please stick around and watch those as well. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching.